the hashtag me too crowd may be small, but they are running institutions like the universities and teaching their insanity to thousands. Where does it end? That's a very good question. Well, I mean, university subscriptions are dropping and, uh, Everybody's realizing college is a scam, so I think they're just kind of their their audience is shrinking. I all this shit, you know, when you live abroad like I do, and you see the West from the outside, you can really clearly see how it is an agenda. But and I think you know us organizing the fact that they're quarantining the red group, uh, the red pill subreddit, the fact that they're getting rid of uh, subreddits like. Uh, fat people shaming and um, the great awakening, all these kind of stuff. It just shows, I mean, even the fact how they banned Alex Jones, the fact that they're taking it to this level shows me desperation. Like if you've ever seen that movie Minority Report, the old lady yes. grabs the plant and she starts strangling it. And she says, when something's dying, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll fight to the end and it cuts her hand. So yeah. they're, they know they're losing. They know they're losing. So I think that it's just a short term of a figurative loss right now. But I think ultimately we're going to win because we are on the side of truth and the truth always prevails. I think there's fatigue going on, too. Mm. I think, you know, you know, sexual horror. Oh, you know, uh, you know, X, Y, Z touched my ass back in 1972. Hashtag me. So I think people are getting tired of it. People are. Well, they're well, they're grasping on to old shit from 36 years ago. I mean, it just goes to show you how much, you know, evidence based truth they actually have. I mean, uh, like, I don't know where this is going from my perspective. Sometimes I kind of lean into fuck it, just let it burn down and sit back and watch it go. And other times I'm like, could it turn into a civil war? Um, you know, is it is it just going to eat itself from the inside out sort of thing? You get other guys like you hear guys in the MGTOW communities that, uh, you know, talk about things like um, uh, Muslim culture is, you know, slowly going to like take over and the patri patriarchy is going to return. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, does it have an ending? Uh, you know, you could come up with all kinds of theories and philosophies. At the end of the day, who fucking cares? You know, um, again, you know, I'm going to mention this essay by uh, Jack, Jack Donovan. Uh, I don't care. Look it up. Um, I don't put a lot of thought and emphasis on things that are beyond my control. I basically operate in the sphere that I can control. Uh, my dad told me one time when I was young, he goes, look, the only part of the universe that you can control is yourself and that's it. So allocating too much in the way of energy and resources, trying to solve problems like, you know, uh, outrageous me too agendas and feminists, just who cares? Fuck it. Let, let them just eat themselves up, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, speaking of, uh, the last time I had a conversation with Jack Donovan, we talked about this, we get asked about this all the time. How do you win the war against feminism? Yeah. The war is in our heads, right? And this is what we both agreed upon. With every, it's a spiritual war, so that means it's in your mind. It's your choice to be happy. I mean, fight the good fight, but in the end, it's about your mindset. So again, understand this stuff, but have the proper mindset. The war's in your head. Don't let it's, it's, you know, like it's a lot of negativity, and yeah. it's like you know, like I look at it like a pig, and a pig wants you to get down in the mud and roll around with it and get dirty with it. And if you just don't engage it, if you don't get into that conversation. You're, you know, it's fine. Just let it fucking roll around in the mud and eat the shit that it eats. I mean, yeah, under, understand what pigs do. Right. Understand that pigs roll in the shit, but you don't have to roll in the shit with them. True. Exactly. All right, let's yeah. go back to the phone. Is, is you can't. You cannot negotiate genuine desire. You also cannot negotiate genuine belief. And one of the things that I think I've talked with Jack Donovan about this as well um, is that when you're dealing with dealing in the realm of ideas, those, those are some pretty powerful ideas. Now, imagine if like the powers that be were on our side, if they were really all about um, if they were really all about you know, red pill dynamics. They're really about the truth of, of red pill awareness. Imagine if everybody was on our side, what you would, what you would have is you would have a lot of people who just basically agree with your own ideas. So is it a war of, you know, is it a war of attrition? Is it a war of this or is it a war of that? It's a war of ideas. And I think that's, you know, broadcasting those ideas and making uh, other people aware of the ideas and making, making people aware of red pill dynamics. That's what I'm all about. And that's what I'm going to continue to be all about. So how am I going to fight the war? I'm going to fight the war in the realm of ideas. Cause when I'm gone, my ideas will still be here. 